everybody. Today is the re, the preview release day for uh, Titan Forge's new release for April, which is called Hokai, and uh, and I thought that I would do a uh, a preview look at them and a little reaction. I have not I've seen this group picture and that's about it, which has a lot on it. But um, I am a subscriber to Titan Forge. And so, uh, so they're one of the ones that have been so consistent that, that I do pay monthly and I, and I pull those down. Um, and they're usually very good. So let's, let's go through this and see what it looks like. Um, they did do a teaser about maybe a week or two ago. And I wasn't super thrilled with the teaser because it showed a lot of like little tiny characters, um, it seemed like. And I'm sure when we'll hit them, I'll, I'll point them out. But... Um, this looks great here. Uh, this is, I really don't know any backstory to what this is, but I, I do like the details in the, in the feathering, um, of this. I mean, it, obviously it's going to be like a Japanese theme, I would assume going from the, from the title, but, uh, this looks pretty good. Um, I do like that the wings are not just chop and reused wings from some other model this is definitely unique to this model with the little strands that are coming through it here uh, right here all this area here um, but i will say that that staff looks repurposed to me um, from previous titan forge things shouldn't be a problem but uh just to let you know and uh, i'm curious what size this base is it's it looks like it, it must be a a centerpiece model i mean this definitely looks like the centerpiece model and i do like it when the centerpiece models are not like 100 pieces like this one looks like it'd be maybe one two three four i would imagine this is four to five pieces which uh is great because it just makes it easier for printing but uh, it looks very nice looks very nice um, I'm hoping there's maybe a close-up of the of the person. So here's another flying figure, and it looks pretty good. The the arms are really thick on it, but the flow of the fabric looks really nice. The tail looks great. The tail looks really good. Um, it comes off the base quite a bit though, but uh, but no, it looks that looks very nice. And I'm trying to think of how you could use these as a proxy for something which i often say this i mean I, I don't know how this would be a proxy for anything unless it was unless you wanted to do like a japanese style cities of sigmar maybe i'm thinking for warhammer and this could be like a general on a uh, griffin maybe uh, but this looks nice i really like the flow of the fabric and then how this turns into like a j posture i'm kind of hoping this is the artsy fartsy in me right because it's a Japanese release, I'm hoping that there is some elements, and you see a bit of it here, but some of the elements of the Japanese movement, Japanese sensibility of space, things like that. Um, this one doesn't have a whole lot of that other than, other than the posture here of the figure, right at the midsection. That's very Japanese, and then, and then the swoop. But other than that, it, it doesn't seem that way. Oh, that's that's cool. Like that. That's a really cool model. Looks like a big base too. That is awesome. Looks like something at the end of Tekken. Um, the blade looks really thick, which is kind of cool and modeled. I do like that there's head. So this has got to be like an ogre. Um, and I love this. I love the stump because it's not a broken stump. It looks like it's meant to be that way, which is kind of cool. Uh, but that's that's really nice. I'm really curious how big this is. That's that, This is one problem, and maybe when we go back to the group shot. I didn't want to ponder on the group shot because I didn't want to be able to see everything. I wanted to be able to react to things. But maybe if we go back to the group shot, we can see how big this is compared to other things. This is cool. This is okay. Um, oh, 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 I think I was misunderstanding this. So this is like an umbrella that she's holding, and this is a hat. I thought this was all like one big helmet thing, but this is an umbrella, so it's just an odd angle. Okay, I get this. This must be some kind of sorceress or something. There's skulls coming out of this lantern, and it looks like this is uh, smoke or something. The, the high-waist... 
uh, thick waistbands for like the kimono style. I bet you this group would really lend itself some crazy painting techniques because you could do flower patterns all over these kimono style uh, outfits. Uh, it's short sleeve, which gives you a nice way to have like a breaking point here. This could be a different color that mixes with this. So I do like that. The, the stick of the umbrella uh, looks like a claw. So you could have some nice, interesting pieces going on here. I, I, was a little t I was a little thrown by this because of the photography, really, more than anything else. But it makes me wonder if this is the angle they chose to use. Why is there something wrong with the other side? But we'll see. See if it loads the next picture. There we go. Yeah, this is the one one of the ones that they did in the in the in the early preview. And I was kinda like, okay. So I, I didn't have a whole lot of feeling to this. This has got to be a 25 mil base. So this has got to be a very small figure. I, I have no idea what's going on here. It's it looks like a servant uh, for something. An alien servant, maybe. I don't know. I mean, obviously, some of this is me not knowing what they were going for. That's, oh, that's good. I like that. Again, I, I don't know where I would use this other than other than other games like, like Frostgrave or something like that. Um, I do like the staff. I like the posture. I like the fact that it's on here. It looks like it might be top-heavy. Um, this here is repurposed from other from their dragon Dyn or uh jade dynasty series so maybe this could be extended through the jade dynasty but the jade dynasty stuff is supposed to be more like chinese um, and this definitely feels like it's more japanese but uh still a cool look i like the bird look and everything um i like how they did the the bracelets and stuff the molding on the feet looks really nice. And you can feel the actual weight of the model coming forward, which is nice. So hopefully, and then it's so far back on the base, um, hopefully that, I'm curious how well that stands. You might have to weight the base, but it looks nice. Okay, so this is another one. So these must be a series, uh, series of guys, which to me also means that the base might be a little larger. But that's a good pose also. And that, and actually, this is what I was talking about before, some of that Japanese flow. This looks like Japanese posturing from, like, ink drawings. Um, you would see a lot of the samurai posture in those drawings when they were doing action poses, fights and stuff. They would be in poses like this where, the, where they were, like, running, but to make sure that they showed the anatomy of the forearm and the sword from the side, they would over accentuate the sword over their head. Um, so that's awesome. I'm actually very happy to see that. That, that really kind of gives it more of that Japanese art style feel, which, which I really like. And then I like the, the, um, the bracers down here, the, the padding that they have and stuff. So it's, that's good. I'll definitely be printing that. Oh, that's wow! That's really nice. This is really, this is really good. Um, I love the little fox. I love the 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 way that these uh, the jump here is. The helmet is really nice. That's great. Nice flow. Nice airy feel to the to the characters. Um, that's a really nice effect really good use of of centralizing it onto the base too like it doesn't feel like it's going to topple over but it has a lot of forward movement so that's a really nice one i want to see it from the side with how this top piece comes out because that could really make a dynamic difference from the profile of the model um, and then this is nice and thick you know one of the problems with some of these guys when they make the spears and the and the halberds and stuff like that is that it's tough sometimes to print the end pieces. They'll thin out depending on your resin printer. But Titan Forge is usually pretty good about trying to thicken those up and not making them too thin. And then if you want them thin, you can sand them down. But I, I like the fact that they make them thick so they're easier to print. This came out in the earlier pre-release. And, uh, and actually, that looks really good. I like, I like how that looks. Um, it, it's a standard hero leadership pose where he's not fighting but he's the man sternly looking on everybody i'm assuming this is who the servant was towards 
Um, these guys, I don't quite get. Um, there were a couple of these in the pre-release also, and they're animal guys of some sort. The, they, this has got to be a really, you can tell by the texturing here that this is a really small base. But um, I like the hat. I like how the ears come out of the hat. Gives it a little bit of form. Um, it definitely feeds. I, I love the shoes. You got to have the shoes, man. Um, and then the sack. So the it's it's a nice piece, and it's their support pieces. I'm assuming um, their support pieces, like the other little guy that was holding the tray. So I mean, they work, um, but I don't know what they're for. So I'd have to read up on that. But from a reaction of how it's designed. Uh, it's really all about the sack, the hat, the ears, and then getting a little bit of motion out of it. You know, because you're not getting a whole lot of detail on the face with the hat there, unless you're right up on it. There's another one that was on there, which is terrific. Again, going back into the, the big lean, hero lean, even though it's a short, you know, stout little figure. Love the feet. Love the pose of the, the two fingers. Works well with the snout. They got a lot of great detail. You know, you've heard me talk about Artisan Guild, how they're a little too cartoony. Um, and then there's other ones like uh, Raven Twin, which are the hyper, hyper mimetic, meaning hyper realistic. I feel like one of the reasons I subscribe to Titan Forge is they kind of split the difference really nicely. Obviously, this can't be real, but it doesn't look super cartoony. So they do a great job of doing flushing out the details in a way that it's... It's a cartoon, cartoon uh, caricature that can be taken seriously. Maybe that's a good way to say it. That's pretty good. Um, weighted down by, you know, this, this has good gravity to it. The way that they did this rope really has a feel of actual gravity pulling the body down, even though it's a floating feature. That's very nice. Like the hair. The hair does a nice job of the same effect. That's, that's a easy must print kind of thing i could use that as a proxy for a couple different things that would be great as a banshee as an example oh wow those are cool those are cool i like those those are like turtle like weird turtle guys uh, that turtle shell um shield is awesome i really like that and i love the bowl cut that is like a monk cut that's great these are really nice. God, it makes me want to think how I could use these as a proxy and something else. Um, but those look really nice. They look really good. Man, they're creepy, too. The The faces are not a cutesy turtle face. They're like zombie turtle type things. They do not look appealing, which, which is great. They look nice. I like that. These are just, I think, yep, these are just the individual ones. Makes me wonder because they're focusing on if they're modular. They might because Titan Forge usually does have a unit that's modular, but usually, yep. Yeah, well, there you go. So you can make a variety of these guys. Only three heads, though. I'm a little surprised by that. Usually they give you four to five. Well, five heads. Um, so I'm a little surprised by that, but but that's still fine. I mean, still got a good amount of variety. And then these are from their Titans of Adventure. So each time they have a release, they have a set of three or four um, dungeon crawler type like D&D &D character models that they throw in that are nothing to do with the set that, that they're releasing. Um, this looks good. Human Fighter. I mean, it looks pretty standard fare. I like, the, I like this side being a little different with the kneecap thing. And then I also like the breastplate. It's really nice. Um, and the chainmail, actually. I like how the chainmail goes over the belt. That's good. Oh, wow. Wow, really? I I was just looking for a Rune Lord, and this could have been a great proxy for a Rune Lord. So I might be printing this as a second Rune Lord. But I was, I was looking high and low because I didn't want to use a standard Rune Lord, and now they put out this Dwarf Mage. So I will definitely be printing that um, as a second Rune Lord. But that looks, that looks really good. Love the hands. Hands are really tight on that. It's, it's a uh, Dwarf Moses, it looks like. But it's, it's, that's very nice. Uh, oh, wow. That's basically me as a caricature. Um, no, but that looks good. I mean, that, that's kind of standard if you ask me, but it, but it looks good. I think I bet you that's it. Okay, and then their terrain. Wow, that's really actually I like the terrain quite a bit. 
I'm definitely printing this thing. Oh wow, and that's so this just to give you an idea, that's the that's the hero guy. So the scale of this thing is very large. Wow, that's going to be awesome. And if this is the scale to that, then you can make multiple of these as as um that's great. So between these things, you could easily make like a really nice board. Um, awesome. That looks really good. I'm definitely down. It's a lot of stuff to print. And then they always put out a base set. Um, uh, I, I hardly ever do the bases. I'm not a, I'm not a huge print your own bases fan. Um, I feel like that I should be doing them in resin and then they feel like they're really heavy in resin. Uh, and then when I print them in PLA, I'm not happy with them. So if somebody, if I'm doing it wrong, I'm, you know, I'll be the first to say like, oh, I'm an idiot. But I mean, it, is there a trick to the bases? Because ne I'm never happy with printing the bases. Like I said, my problem with printing the bases in resin is they feel way heavier than they need to be. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to do them in PLA, but then they don't seem to have the same quality in PLA. So... I don't know. Um, again, don't be afraid to let me know. But uh, really nice. Oh, wait a minute. There's some other. Oh, Dragon Empire bonus stuff. So I told you some of this looks like the Dragon Empire stuff. That's awesome. Very much like that. That is really cool. Wow. Oh, wow. I could definitely see using these also. Not huge on the face. Wish the face was a little different, but the... But the, the flow of the fabric and stuff is really good. His He looks like he's about to fall over, which is kind of cool. I mean, because of the weight of this, uh, he comes off of his toes a little bit, which is really nice. That Wow, that's great. Nice movement. Again, kind of mimicking uh, the art styles of, of Asian art. Um, that's really good. I like the face a lot better on this one, and I love that belt. This is great. I'm definitely using these. Definitely using these. I So I, I have a long-running idea for these, which I won't reveal, but these would work perfectly for it. Those are great. <laughs> great. These are, this is uh, a big catapult, which, uh, not a catapult, a, um, uh, what do they call it? A big, a big shooter thingy. I forget what they're called right now. But uh, that's great with a team, and the the I love the I love this stuff. These details here, that's great. That looks very good. I did not expect these the 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 uh, Dragon Empire bonus stuff. I have both the Dragon. Oh, that's awesome! That is awesome. I'm definitely printing those for Cities of Sigmar. That is really nice, and those will be on the battlefield for me. That's a guaranteed print right there. That looks absolutely sick. Oh, that's awesome. And so so basically what you have now, I was going to use this to proxy for the repeater gun. They have a repeater gun. So I'm going to be printing that out as well. And then a rocket launcher, which is exactly what you... So this is guaranteed... Cities of Sigmar, Greywater Fastness kind of proxy stuff now. I, I know right away what I'm going to use it for. It's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, that is cool. Wow. A lot of stuff. That is really slick. It's on a square base, which is a little surprising. but And I can see printing this just on its own. Like, you don't have to drag it. But that is really nice. I love this guy too. That's great. Love the dragon too. That is pulled. That is so well done right there. The dragon heads, and he has like a lion skin and stuff for his clothing. That's great. Oh, I'm very excited to be printing these. That's that's awesome. Great, uh, great preview. I'm looking forward to April. I'm very. I've. I've been a Titan Forge uh, Patreon member for at least 10 months, and I am very happy with them. I, there, there's been maybe two of those 10 months that I'm, I was kind of like, meh, like not going to print anything. But most of them, I'm printing at least half the stuff that they put out. It's great. It's usually really good stuff. So I'm glad to see it.